It happened. System76 has announced the beta release of POP underscore OS 24.04 LTS, giving users an early look at what will become the next long-term supported version of the distribution. Plus, the star of the show, of course, I'm talking about the beta version of the Cosmic Desktop. But let's first start with the distro itself. At the system level, POP underscore OS 24.04 LTS beta ships with Linux kernel 6.16, Mesa 25.1.5, and NVIDIA driver 580, ensuring compatibility with modern hardware. Updates to LibWayland and LibDRM improve Wayland support, while the usual round of fixes and refinements aim to make the release more stable. Somewhat expected, System 76's own alternatives have replaced several key GNOME applications. Nautilus has been replaced with Cosmic Files, GNOME Terminal with Cosmic Terminal, and Totem with Cosmic Player. Even text editing is now handled by Cosmic Edit. Another core component, the POP underscore shop, a staple in previous releases, has also been replaced by the Cosmic Store, which will serve as the central hub for apps, add-ons, and applets built around the new desktop environment. Upgrading from POP underscore OS 22.04 is supported, but it comes with caveats. According to devs, favorites in the dock won't carry over, and users will need to repin applications in the new Cosmic app tray. PPAs are disabled during the upgrade to avoid conflicts, but can be re-enabled afterward. Okay, now let's move on to the star of the show, Cosmic Desktop Beta. With this beta release, the Cosmic Desktop marks the first time users outside the alpha testing group can experience it in a feature-complete state. Built entirely in Rust from scratch, it provides a modern, customizable, and memory-safe desktop environment. This included fundamentals such as a compositor, text rendering, drag and drop, clipboard handling, and a brand new widget toolkit called LibCosmic with a philosophy centered on workflow flexibility. Users can configure single or dual panel layouts, choose between vertical or horizontal workspaces, and switch between tiled or floating windows. The environment supports both dynamic and static workspaces, custom keyboard shortcuts, and theme options that include fonts, icons, and even shared user-created themes. Core Cosmic applications are already in place. These include settings, files, store, terminal, edit, and player. Applets embedded in panels provide quick access to essential features like networking, sound, notifications, and accessibility. Additional applets can be installed from the Cosmic Store. However, being a beta release, Cosmic isn't free of rough edges. Drag and drop functionality between Wayland and X11 apps is not yet functional, display toggle hotkeys are missing, and some games can start off screen and only become visible when forced to full screen with the F11 key. Accessibility also remains a work in progress, as the screen reader does not accurately handle all widgets. Moreover, the Cosmic Store currently doesn't display Flatpak add-in suggestions, though this is planned for the release candidate. Printing support in Cosmic Edit is also on the roadmap. Despite these gaps, gaming performance is reportedly solid, with x improvements planned before final release. And although Cosmic is the flagship desktop of POP, underscore OS, it's not staying exclusive. Fedora has already announced both a Cosmic Spin and a Cosmic Atomic Edition. Other distributions, such as Arch, NixOS, and CacheOS, also provide Cosmic in their repos. Needless to say, for a desktop still in beta, such early adoption across multiple distributions is rare and clearly signaled the significant momentum Cosmic has already gathered. So, what's next? According to System76, the next phase is about stability and polish. With the environment now feature complete, development is shifting to bug fixing and quality assurance. The release candidate will follow the current beta cycle, leading up to the final release of POP, underscore OS 24.04 LTS with Cosmic. Currently, there's no specific timeline for when we can expect the RC and stable release. 
Cosmic Alpha users only need to fully update their system on the 25th to upgrade to beta. For more information, see System 76's announcement.